Santa Anita Derby has a huge field with a lot of early speed. The field should string out, and jockey decisions will play a large part in the outcome. American Anthem got a lot of attention after his second start, but he saved ground that day and got away from Gormley. The figure he earned wasn't that good. The high bounce last time was a head scratcher. Baffert horses seldom do that. It's tough to know what he's going to do now, but since he isn't that fast so far either, we don't love him. Ilya jumped forward in his second start and again in February before going back a little last time. This is what we call an 0-2 a top followed by a small backward move. In this case, Iliad has done a lot of developing and hard running in a short period of time, and we're inclined to think the last two might have taken something out of him in the short term. The long term is a different story. He has a sibling who got much better with age, and if we're wrong and he goes forward from his last, his short term will look pretty good too. Gormley jumped in his second start before bouncing and ran his eyeballs out in January before bouncing again despite having two months rest. The last bounce was in a gray area. Not so bad as to scare us off, but not good enough to give us confidence he'll run back to his top. Of the ones who have already run fast enough to win this race, we like him best, but we don't love him. Battle of Midway ran well in two sprints, then improved slightly going two turns while racing very wide. This guy starts out slower than several but there's a good chance he'll move forward a little. And since the faster horses have questionable patterns, that puts him in the mix if he isn't crazy wide again. Reach the World hasn't run fast enough to threaten here yet, but this could be a Baffert special. When his young horses pair tops, they sometimes jump forward, Arrogate being one example. In a race with a lot of bad patterns, we're not going to throw this one out. Kim Bear is by a sire whose runners average three points faster on grass, but this one jumped forward when he got on dirt and quickly got back to that level when he got back on the surface last time. There are faster horses in here, but Kim Bear has an explosive pattern and six weeks rest. He could jump forward. Note that his dam got a lot better from two to three and ran her top going long. Very little would surprise us in the Santa Anita Derby, so we're certainly not going to take a short price and won't use Iliad. We also won't try to pick a winner, but the usable horses are Reach the World, Battle of Midway, Kim Bear, and Gormley.